Hey Trail Riders, welcome back to the Daily Ride. I hope you guys are doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the God who is there. Our scriptures that get us through the Bible in a year are Genesis 42, 5 through 43, verse 14. Psalm 14, verses 1 through 7. Proverbs 3, 13 and 14. And Matthew 15, 10 through 39. Again, we're going to be talking about the God who is there. Our scripture focus is going to be Psalm 14, verse 1. It says, The fool says in his heart, There is no God. God does not exist. The idea of living personal God gives men and women the jitters. They seem deep. They sense deep within themselves. They are accountable to Him, but they don't know just how to go about that. C.S. Lewis put it this way, The pantheist, God, does nothing, demands nothing. He is there if you wish for Him like a book on a shelf. He will not pursue you. There is no danger that at any time heaven and earth should feel all at his glance. But Christ, the Creator, is there. And he is intervening presence is terribly startling to discover. Lewis goes on to compare the shock of discovering that there is a living personal God in the universe and sitting alone in the dark and sensing someone breathing beside you. It is also shocking, he says, to meet life where you thought you were alone. Listen to this paragraph by Lewis, which I felt I quote in full as it puts the truth in a way that cannot be equaled. There comes a moment when, a, when the children who have been playing at burglars hush suddenly as the real footstep in the hall. There comes a moment when people who have been dabbling in religion suddenly draw back Supposing we really found him, we never meant it to come to that. Worse still, supposing he has found us. So it is a sort of Rubicon. One goes across or not. But if one does, there is no manner of security against miracles one may be in for anything. No need to worry about getting any shocks when they are steadfastly resist believing in a personal God. No shocks, but no salvation either. Let's go to the Lord in prayer. Our gracious Heavenly Father, how can I sufficiently thank you for bringing me to yourself? The thought of a God who is alive, taking personal interest in me, is more than I can comprehend. And yet I believe it with all my heart. Thank you, dear Father. And it's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Hey guys, for further study on this, look at Psalm 10, 1 through 4, Psalm 36, 1 through 4, and 1 John 2:22. And keep these two questions in mind. One, what is at the heart of the atheist? And two, how does John describe those who deny Christ? God bless you guys. I hope you'll continually follow me here on the daily ride. And I'll see you on the next trail ride.